Good morning, Jamion. How are you? Jamion DeFranco here from jamiondefranco.com. I don't know what to say, Jamion. And she walks off camera. Then she walks back on camera. Good girl. Clean your mouth. Good morning, guys. How are you? David DeFranco here from davidfranco.com with the Weekend Valco T Blog. Actually, good afternoon. It's 12.05, so I guess it's the afternoon. Um, I am once again at my parental's house, turning on the Creo Creo Bodo. I applied my own accent there. You see, you'll see. Hey, cat fight, cat fight. Smokey's doing all right? Yes. Uh, my parents are once again in AC. Did my camcorder just click? If it did, I apologize. I think I'm wearing, hold on. Yeah. I think I'm using the old, well, the, the battery that I broke open a while ago, so it kind of clicks here and there. Um, but uh, my parents are in AC. My dad's there for some training classes. <clears throat> Excuse me, for, for his business. So I'm once again here watching the pets. I've been here since Wednesday night. Uh, but I'm actually going back to my house within a half hour just to get some work done. Chris is coming over to pick up the GoPro since he's going to the RC track again. And I'm going to record a video, hopefully, with my HP Stream 7. No, for my HP Stream 7, not with. The cameras on that thing are a joke. Right, Smoke? Exactly. But for $79, what do you expect? It's not that bad of a tablet. And I'll be talking about it in further detail in my Q&A video, as well as my review. So here we go. Let's we can vlog it, vlog it up. There's Autumn, hanging out with a giant cock. Hey, Odd. I know, noisy floor. I really hope Mom and Dad get this replaced soon. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like always creaking. But yes, there is a giant cock, so. Oh, baby. Check out that cock. Oh yeah, oh my god, look at that symmetry. Excellent composition. The exposure's off because of the windows, but hey, what can you do? That helps a little bit. Thank you, Autumn. Smokey Dope does not want me to leave. Smokey, I'll be back tonight, don't worry. With my Chinese food. I'm getting myself some sour and sweet chicken. Wait, strike that, reverse it. Post below, what's that quote from? Yep, there's nothing better than some grinded up caribou. Yeah. Really, Autumn? Yeah, let's do 10 ounce, even though it's a big cup, because I'm going to transfer that into a travel mug, so I'll do this twice. Ready? Do not lift. You think? I'm not an idiot. Ugh, I just farted. And as you can see, we've gotten some snow in the past few days, and I believe Winter Storm Pandora is on its way. So that's really cool for two reasons. Number one, Pandora Radio. I'm sure they're gonna love that free advertising. Well, I guess it's technically a form of marketing or promotion. Depends how you look at it. And number two, it's more snow. Because we haven't gotten that much snow in Jersey. Unlike Boston and Maine and all those places up north. Those people are getting hammered. And I'm just a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Now apparently it went down to zero degrees last night. Unfortunately, I only got to one. Um, before I fell asleep, but I did manage to get a screenshot. There you go. One degree. That is so awesome. And as you can see, around 7 a.m., actually 6 or 7 a.m., it should have dropped down to zero. I was hoping to get it as, as a screenshot because I don't think I've ever witnessed zero degrees. I mean, like visually, you know, viewing the temperature with a screenshot or whatever. I'm just the kind of person who likes to document my life obviously, <laughs> and look back on moments. All right, so that didn't fill up all the way, obviously, because I only chose 10 ounces. That's the smallest one, unfortunately. Unless you put a carafe in, which we do have some up there in the little bowl, but I'm gonna do it again. Doesn't matter. 10 ounce, 10 ounce, yeah, 10 ounce. Do not lift. You think? I'm not an idiot. Was that deja vu? So today, is a big day for amiibo collectors such as myself yes I'm using my phone naked but um yeah February 20th is the release of the Sonic amiibo and I really really want the Sonic amiibo as well as the Mega Man amiibo I mean I'm not a huge fan of Mega Man uh, but I wouldn't mind owning it especially because I have a very 
strong feeling that it's going to be quite rare in just a matter of days. Now, it's not that I don't like Mega Man. I actually like the music a lot, and I'm sure I would enjoy the games. It's just Mega Man is one of those series that I never really played much as a kid. I was always more of a Mario person or a Sonic person or even Vector Man. And if you play Vector Man and Comic Zone, Comic Zone was awesome. And the Simpsons arcade game was great. I will never forget. I used to play that all the time outside of um, Ruby Tuesday in the mall. Yeah, as we waited for our table, I just used to go in the recess arcade and play The Simpsons, like, just for a while. Um, what other series did I enjoy as a kid? Like, I'm talking way back, before the days of 64 and whatever. Batman on the NES was really good. Uh, 720 was good. Hmm. I'm thinking too hard here. But anyway, the point is... I am excited about hopefully getting my hands on the um, Mega Man Mega Man Amiibo. Say that five times fast. But my priority is definitely Sonic because I love Sonic. I always have, even though there hasn't been a good Sonic game in years. That doesn't mean I don't support Sonic or Sega's efforts. So yes, this will soon be mine. The thing is, today's the twentieth, and GameStop still says it's coming on the twentieth. So they clearly haven't updated their page yet. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't quite work out the way I was hoping to with the music. There was some very explicit language, so I had to do a jump cut. Darn you. It's okay. I like to keep it friendly, friendly for my younger viewers out there. I don't want them to like do that. Okay, so. I'm going to my house. I'm going to record... Shit, I told you guys. Poop, I told you guys. <laughs> actually, no. Don't fall, guys. I'm talking to you. Don't, actually, that's kind of better. The the uh, exposure is more balanced because all the dark values down here. David, you're such a nerd. Coffee! So... I do want to talk about two things. Charlie, you just messaged me. Uh, Taco Bell, I would like, I think it's a T8. Half crunchy, half soft. Just can't be biased like that. You gotta get crunchy and hard. Crunchy and hard. Um, hard and soft. Or crunchy and soft. Whatever you want to call it. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Guys, relax, I'm talking. So number one, well, for, okay, here we go. Yesterday I woke up to a somewhat angry email from a viewer. I'm not, not, not gonna call him or her out. I'm just taking it as an opportunity to openly express my feelings regarding some recent changes on my channel. So this person was basically mad because he or she thought that I'm neglecting non-patrons. First of all, that is 100% false. I will never, ever, ever, mark my words, I will never, ever, ever alienate my viewers, whether they're patrons or non-patrons, because you guys got me to where I am today, and I'm forever grateful. But for some reason, people feel like they know other, like, I mean, they, I don't know, they think otherwise. And I'm not really sure, like, I guess they put ideas into their head, and eventually they believe those ideas, even though they're fiction. But, yeah. So, whether you're a patron or non-patron, I love you guys equally. I don't care if you're paying $5 a month, or $10 a month, or $0 a month. It doesn't come down to that. It comes down to support. Now, unfortunately, not everybody can realize that, and some people think I'm greedy, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like content creators like myself, we deserve to get paid for our time. Because we could easily drop YouTube like that and get a real job. But this is a real job. People, I don't know. Some people are stuck in the past. That's just how I look at it. And the second thing I want to talk about, which is what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, person was also apparently mad because I block people for giving their opinions. 100% false as well. I only block people the second they disrespect me. Seriously, I don't care if you don't like Apple. I don't care if you don't like Android. Just, I don't care if you don't like me. 
But the second you use profanity, I guess that's the best word, against me or even my own viewers, you get blocked. I have a zero tolerance policy for stupidity in this world. Whether it's YouTube, wow, this person does not know how to use a circle. You keep going, you don't yield at every stop. Some people are not meant to have a license. That's okay, that was, that, that was her derp moment for the day. We all have our derp moments. So, I mean, I've said that in past videos, but for some reason people still don't listen. I don't care if you don't agree with my opinion, but the second you act like a jerk, you get blocked. I'm all about positivity and main, and just maintaining a clean environment. Now, other YouTubers might not be as strict as me, and that's fine. They have their own sets of rules. But me personally, no. Zero, zero, zero tolerance policy for that kind of stuff. So, that's just how I feel. This video is probably gonna have jump cuts all over the place because I'm tripping, I'm just tripping over my own words, like example A. But anyway guys, ranting aside, like, it wasn't even really a rant, I'm just waking some people up because for some reason people don't pay attention to the obvious and I'm, I'm not sure why, like I make things so freaking obvious then I still get questions, like people asking me if my camping videos are patrons only. No, because my camping videos are weekend vlogs and weekend vlogs are open. It's okay though, it's okay. I appreciate the questions and thankfully I only get a few. I mean, it's not like I get bombarded with hundreds of the same questions every single day. If I did, I'd probably go mentally insane. But those kinds of questions are few and far between. So. All right, next stop, Wawa, I need some lunch. Then to Mikasa to get some work done. Today should be a good day. So let's make it good. And boom, 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 boom. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of mail. So this is, they'll knock it over. This is a keyboard I got in for review. This is 1UP Box for February of 2015. This is my first Leap Trade game for this month's uh, Leap Trade haul. I believe it's Dishonored for Xbox 360. Um, I never got around to playing it. I've heard good things overall, so I'm excited to finally check it out. And this is from Love With Food. It sounds like snacks, but I don't know what it is because it's not their usual box. But regardless, I'll find out soon enough because I really got to eat lunch. I'm actually going to eat lunch in front of my computer for once. Kind of a rare moment for me because I got to start screenshotting your questions for my HB Stream 7 uh, uh, Q&A video. What am I trying to say? Uh, and then I have a lot of videos to record. So this is good. I mean, I've, I have a lot of content coming out within the next two weeks. So it's nice knowing... I'm kind of future-proofing myself with all this content. So stay tuned. So setting the coffee aside for later. Got my turkey sandwich and my cream soda for lunch. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's make today a productive day. Even though I'm a little limited on time, but that's okay. I can't turn the friggin' door up. I can't get in my own office. I just crushed my sandwich. I just finished recording my Ask Me Anything video for my HP Stream 7. As you can see, I literally just got done like seconds ago, so let me put this light back. And yeah, some people say the light should technically be facing the other way. Not in my eyes, I just like it that way. But my lighting setup is more appropriate in my bedroom. I don't know if I showed you guys since I made a patrons only vlog last week, I forget what I show sometimes. But there it is, there's a work in progress. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm mostly using it right now for Instagram pictures and B-roll and stuff, which is kind of its main purpose, but eventually I will be doing unboxings in here and reviews, and I just need to put um, posters on the wall to make the room look a little better, but it's pretty cool. I mean, looking at this on camera, you would never know that it's part of my bedroom. And yes, I rarely make my bed. I'm not a big believer in that. You're just going to get in it again, but yeah, that's just me. So that's good, I'm glad my AMA video is done. I mean, you know, at least recorded. You can see Maui? Chris should be here in, uh, like in a few minutes. He's, he's driving tip off at work. So this is great. I mean, I have so many products to review and unbox, including the Sackett speaker, my AMA video, uh, my Love With Food. Actually, I don't think Love With Food's gonna be a video. I don't know what that is. I, I, I don't box it, so. One up box, that wireless keyboard, which I'll most likely be using on my HD PC. So yeah, good things are happening. And it's funny because 
once in a while I get worried that I won't have enough content uh, you know to create but now I have too much content to create and like I said earlier I have enough content to last me the next two weeks or so which is awesome alright time to edit these AMA videos always take a while to edit but they're totally worth it preview and there goes Chris just a quick drop by for the pro of go did I give him everything? GoPro, micro SD card, charging cable, adapters, yeah. He's going to the indoor RC track tonight to get some footage. Uh, but we just confirmed that we will be hanging out tomorrow night. Apparently Tiff's making a turkey because <laughs> she has an extra turkey. Um, so that should be fun. And I showed Chris my um, HDPC and the light pack, which is working great. I just have it on mood lighting mode right, uh, right now. Um, I'll talk about it more in a future video. So if you guys want to see the, like a dedicated video on this lighting kit, comment right below. But for now, let's shut her down. Pew! Lights off. I said lights off. Lights off. There you go. Takes about 20 seconds to shut down. It's not bad. And that ticking you hear in the background is my clockety clock. Who is texting me? Chris forgot his sunglasses. Hmm. Just try to remember to bring them tomorrow. I will. Look at this. This is happening in real time. This is how you know when it's a good day. When something like this comes in the mail and you can call it work. Yes, a brand actually wants me to do a first taste video on these olive oil keto cooked potato chips. How awesome is that? Number one, I love chips. Number two, I should enjoy olive oil. And number three, this is considered work. I mean, I love it. I just gotta do something unique with that though. I don't wanna just taste them on camera. I gotta make it funny or I don't know. Gotta do something unique. Gotta mix it up. Gotta impress this brand. It technically came from Love With Food, but I guess Love With Food has some kind of partnership. So that's what was in that white um, package container thingy, my bobber, before. What am I saying? It's coffee time. Holy poop on a stick. I just opened Dishonored Game of the Year Edition from Leap Trade. I'm just kind of blown away because I didn't think I would be buying the brand new version. I just assumed it was used. Awesome. So guys, if you want to check out Leap Trade, use my link right below. And if you sell a game, you could earn five bucks. And I will be talking about this more in my Leap Trade haul video, probably later this week. Yeah, so we'll see, stay tuned. And just like that, I've once again arrived at Zebra Rentals house with Mr. Pants who just needs to chill while I enjoy my dinner, right? Just chill, yeah, chill. So yes, sweet and sour chicken with white rice, like my women, and egg roll, sweet and sour sauce, obviously, and Wawa stuff, soda, and potato chips. Now to find something to watch on Netflix or HBO Go. Let's see. Like, like, late, like, last hour of the open bar. And Sarah's fine. I just love when Jasmine yeah. stares at me. So cool. She's amazing. Right? Yeah, oh. of course. Yes, totally. Daniel. See? Mr. Pants. You know, All right, enough. Conflict. Yeah, I'm in a sweet and sour chicken coma. She can put those aside. Got you by the foot. Well, I'm thinking about drinking. Thank you. He's I ain't going anywhere tonight. So why not drink? Okay, I'm going to play some Mario Kart 8. Maybe do a hangout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Wow, look at this. White balance. It adjusts when I put it on Jasmine's face. Then it adjusts when I put it over there. Which is technically correct, but I wish I did it quicker. Hey, at least it's consistent. Watch. It'll switch back. Yep. And it'll switch back when I do that. Huh. That's actually kind of impressive. And now give it a second to adjust to my face. There you go. There you go. Did I tell you guys I finally started playing Mario Kart 8 or Mario Kart? I know it's literally Mario, but I say Mario. It's a Jersey thing. Uh, but yes, I did. Great game. I beat all the races last night um, on 50cc. Very, very easy, obviously. Uh, so now I'm going through all the races again on 100cc. And it has a ton of nostalgia in it. In it. <clears throat> did I say that right? Nostalgia? I always have trouble with that word. Just me as a longtime gamer since I was a kid, I love seeing like the SNES tracks and the 64 tracks, like, especially 64. Mario Kart 64 is probably my all-time favorite Mario Kart game in the series. It's just that good. Probably because it has the best memories. Because uh, I used to play it all the time with Chris and, and the multiplayer was incredible. I mean, there's no Mario Kart game that I did not enjoy. But this one is pretty damn good, especially right there. The airport level, I can't think of the um, name of the uh, course right now. But that's a good one. Alright, let's play. And by the way, I usually prefer the Pro Controller for Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8. What about you? Post below. This is an excellent controller. Not as good as the Xbox One controller, but it's still pretty damn good. And not as good as the DualShock 4 either. Uh, because I think, in my opinion, the face buttons right here, X, Y, A, and B, are a little too close to the right stick. Because I found my right thumb hits that stick mistakenly quite often. Is it a big deal? No, I'm just very picky. Poor Hunter, he's like, shut up already and just play. Hunter, you look so old. You're not old though. You're just a big puppy. Yeah. You're just a big popper. Oh yeah. Coffer. Why does Mario Kart 8 take longer to start up than other games? You notice that? Mario Kart 8! Alright, Mario, calm down. You know what's interesting? Is it says version 3.0. Right there. I don't know, I just find that to be pretty cool. Now the DLC looks awesome. I cannot wait to play the Animal Crossing uh, course. That is gonna blow my mind. Animal Crossing just gets me going. Seriously, the uh, music was playing in Smash Brothers the other night when I was playing on the Animal Crossing um, level. And just when the music played, I couldn't help but smile like a little giddy girl. I was like, oh my god, this is great. I don't care if people judge me. I'm just a huge Animal Crossing fan. 100cc, let's do this. And then I'll do 150cc. Although, I will say, it's a little odd. Nintendo, for whatever reason, seems to be in the mood for cel-shaded graphics, or at least just icons of the characters. Isn't that odd? I mean, it was the same way on the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros., which I immediately turned off. I mean, I will say I like the whole cel-shading thing in general. I always think of the Wind Waker. Um, and cell damage? Who played cell damage? That game takes me way back. I think I played on the Dreamcast? I forget, but it's just interesting that Nintendo is more interested in cell shading nowadays. I don't know, just find that to be pretty cool. Just another random observation from David DeFranco. I'm the best! Shout out to Jack Hansen. He just brought this up on Twitter. Check it out. It looks like HP's coming out with their own version of a mini desktop PC. The HP Stream 200? Very, very interesting, and it's not even out yet. Huh. And look, it's like the same exact blue as my HP Stream 11. Huh. I might have to get this. I mean, first there was the HP Stream 11, then the HP Stream 7, and now the HP Stream 200. Since I immediately thought of you when I saw it. So there you go, Jack. You got a shout out. And thank you for the heads up. I think that's a good spot to wrap up tonight. 600 coins. It's not bad. Making some good progress. I played for a few hours. Mr. Pants. Miss Jamion, you guys ready to go outside? <laughs> Look how small she is. 
Jamion! I know, Homer. You're still awake? All right, all right. All right. All right. Outside. Come outside. Go. Outside. Outside, yellow thing. Go. Outside. Watch this. I installed a mod chip. Wii U. Off. Right? Oh, shit. Right? You know. <laughs> Justin, you have the most innocent looking face. You are so cute. I cannot wait to go camping with you again. We're gonna have so much fun. You too, Mr. Pants. If I can get you in frame. <gasps> Wanna go camping? Wanna go camping? Come on, let's go camping. All right, <laughs> settle down. <laughs> Wanna go camping? Wanna go camping? Wanna go camping? <laughs> Wanna go camping? Wanna go camping? Come on, come on, let's go camping. Let's just take the camper and not tell mom and dad, all right? Sounds like a plan. Stan, your name's not Stan. Is your name Stan? So I think I'm going to try that experiment where you throw boiling water into the freezing cold air since it's only nine degrees Fahrenheit tonight. I figured why not give it a shot? It's one in the morning, so it's pretty freaking cold. That's the fan you hear, just cause, I don't know, just in case. Cause it's kinda gas in here since it's a gas stove. I don't know if that fan actually makes a difference, but I can smell the gas, so. Better safe than sorry. And don't worry, I'm not an idiot. I know to throw away from myself because I've heard of people getting seriously hurt doing this. So, if you do this yourself, be careful. Don't be a moron. Don't throw it in your own face because I've seen people throw it and like, a huge gust of wind just comes by and like throws it on their skin and they get burnt and yeah, that's gonna hurt pretty badly. All right, it's almost ready. It's getting there. Then after this experiment, I'm going to have some cherry Pepsi with Fireball. Why? Well, why not? I rarely drink, so I just wanna treat myself. That should be enough. Turn that off. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Yeah. Eh. That wasn't as climatic as I thought it was gonna be. It looks cool. Yeah, I think it's a lot cooler if you have like, really, come on. If you have a huge pot of it and you're on like a top floor and you can dump it instead of having to throw it, it's obviously a lot safer that way. But I figured why not finally give it a shot because I saw a video on YouTube last year where these people in, in I think it was in an apartment complex, which again, makes it easier for them. Um, they dumped like this huge thing of boiling water and it created this just insane cloud of steam. So, hey, it was cool. And I think tomorrow I'll try it again. Maybe, we'll see. If I remember, because my parents are getting back tomorrow, so I'm gonna be around the house getting things done. But it was fun, right? Right, Autumn? Yeah. Never heard of some experiment. And again, if you do it yourself, be careful, because I got a little bit on my hand, and it burnt a tiny bit, but I'm not feeling it anymore. It was temporary pain. But cool. There you go, I'll try something new. <laughs> Homie, what are you freaking out for? Fireball. Not the cat, but the actual drink. F-ball going into my pea cherry bottle. Oh, yeah. Gotta mix that shiz up now. Where'd my cap go? There it is. I don't know why I'm drinking. Just, I don't know, I feel like it. Boom. Now to go upstairs with the HP Stream 11, answer some emails, 
and watch a movie or two. Please, it's 1 a.m. The night is young. I'm gonna be up until around 4. Alright, homie, we get it. You're there. We love you. You're a great birdie bird. Yes. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. Hi, Omer. Homie, good boy. Hi, Omer. Hunter pants into his house. Uh, uh. Pants it away like a boss. Cover that tree with some moss. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna fight? Yo, you got a light? Yo, my name ain't Mike. <laughs> Your mother, she's a... This is one of my favorite shirts. And actually one of the best things I ever got from Loot Crate. Even though my Loot Crate partnership is finito. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Look at this lighting. It is snowing out. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see it soon because I'm going out. Um, I'm just going to go to Wawa, get a quick, very, very late breakfast. Hey guys, good morning, good morning Poochies, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, good times. And I'm going to get gas. I have like 130 miles left, but I just want to get it now, that way it's done. That's just how I am with gas, I always have been. Um, especially when I get close to the 100 mark. Jasmine, relax! But yeah, their shirt's awesome. If you look closely, it's kitties! Not just a skull, but cats too, so it's like, oh look! This guy has a soft side, but he also has a dangerous side. Jasmine, chill. Jasmine, you're in jail. You're in jail, mother panties. Okay, Jasmine, why are you freaking out? Come on, you were just out. Come on, Jess. See, you, you don't, you don't even know where you're going, Jazz. You're just walking rant, look, see, you don't even know. What are you doing? <laughs> David! You're beautiful. Jamie unsnuggled with me last night. She's a cuddler. Yep, there you have it. A little bit of snow coming down. Very nice. And don't forget, apparently, Winter Storm Pandora might be hitting us. So that could be cool. Yes, I stuck my air freshener in there. That way it makes the car smell even better. But this is old, so I can toss that now. And it's funny, I was just outside, you know, just bringing the trash cans in or whatever. And it doesn't feel that cold compared to what we just experienced for the past few days. Listen, what's the current temperature? Uh, it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit outside. 27 degrees. That might sound cold to a good majority of you, but that's really not cold to us after experiencing like one degree and actually even zero degrees. And probably like negative 15 degrees wind chill. So, 26? It's not that bad. Was it 26? I forget already. Short term memory loss. Just keep swimming. Wow, it was freaking busy. Well, it, it is lunchtime, so that explains that. Did my WB just change? I think it did. I don't blame it because the conditions are more unique than usual. You know, sometimes well, this person needs to be retested. Yeah. Sometimes, if you haven't noticed, when I don't know what I'm saying, I kind of string random words together. <laughs> it's just what I do. Like, I, I just keep talking because I love to talk. Which, it sucks that I, I'm terrified of public speaking, but I love I love speaking, like I love the idea of sharing thoughts and changing, I don't know about changing lives, but you know what I mean, like embedding myself in other people's minds. That's the best way to put it. Anyway, yes, Wawa was freaking packed. I got a coffee, obviously. I surprised mom with peanut chews. I don't know if she still eats peanut chews, but I wanted to get her something, um, to, you know. And I got, what did I get? Oh, French toast with uh, sausage and apple smoke apple smoked wood bacon is that, this one? is that right apple smoked wood bacon for 60 cents extra why not that's like Wawa's thing now they try to upsell the bacon for 60 cents on like most of their products because once I got bacon in my quesadilla and it was banging you don't normally think of bacon on quesadilla but trust me try it easily worth the 60 cents 
That is a Prius in front of us. I'm so jealous. Like, I really wish I had an electric car. It's just, I, it's just the coolest thing. Imagine plugging your car in, and it's perfect for me because I don't I don't use a lot of mileage. Um, you know, like I don't do a lot of driving. A little slippage there. Do you feel that? Rose is slippery. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go back to mom and dad's house. I just got a text from Chris. They are not going to Philly today, like they were going to, uh, because of the snow. So they said I can go over there whenever I'm ready. So I'll probably go over there probably like five or six o'clock. Apparently Tiff's making a turkey. Maybe. Wait, did I tell you this? I think I did tell you this. David, just shut up and go home. You talk a lot. You do. Hey, Maui. I love that picture. Check it out over at Facebook.com slash David DeFranco. Anyway, check it out. It's official. Tiff is making a turkey. Because there is her penis in the pot. Amazing. And it feels like November all of a sudden. And look at me. I'm just a little happy. Oh, that's funny. The little face detection box or whatever is over my emoji. That's awesome. So here is what I got. Yes, sausage patty with three pieces of French toast and bacon with extra syrup, of course. Jasmine, Hunter, it's official. We are going camping. Yes, we are. Check it out. Let me bring up my text message from mom. Well, first of all, they have officially signed the papers today for the new camper. So they stopped by the campground, Driftwood. Check it out, it looks so different in the snow. And as you can see, they're doing a bit of construction here and there. That is so cool. Seriously, like I hardly recognize it with snow. It just looks so freaking different. And check it out, hold on. Right there, it's official. We are booked the weekend of April 10th and 12th to pick up the new camper and camp that weekend. And clearly, I'm happy. So mark your calendars. That is the first weekend vlog of 2015 that we will go camping. And I cannot wait. So what's today's date? Oh, today is already the 21st. Less than two months, guys. Less than two months. I'm telling you, it's like... It's like my new favorite thing about the warm weather is camping. Uh, I just love chilling by our camper with, with, with my parents and family, with some fireball, my twisted tea, going down to the lake, chilling on my bike ride, my speaker on my bike, bringing hotter pants and jam in. It's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. But for now, we can still continue to enjoy the snow because it's snowing more than usual. I mean, it's, I mean, it's snowing more than I thought it was going to today. And with that said, I didn't even know it was gonna snow. So clearly I don't watch the forecast too closely. But check it out, we're getting some decent snowfall today. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, I figured I would just hang out here and then go straight to Carson Tiffs around five or six. I mean, even if it is snowing, that's okay. That doesn't really bother me. Just as long as I take my time and don't drive like an idiot, not a big deal. And plus, my parents aren't here yet, so I kind of just want to say hi to them. And it makes sense to go straight to Carson Tiffs rather than to my house, then go to Carson Tiffs. Um, so I'll just hang out here for a while and I'll play Mario Kart 8. Alright, well clearly it's snowing a little more than I thought it would. We, we have a couple inches already. I don't know if I'm going to Crescent Tiffs, guys. My mom said that she, she's already seen like three cars go off the road on the way back from AC. Which obviously isn't good. And one of them was a tractor trailer. Now that's usually in result for people driving like morons because they don't know how to drive in the snow for whatever reason. Just, you just go slow. It really comes down to that. It's a one or zero kind of thing. But... Yeah. Okay, I don't need to, look, my car's already covered. I don't need to have my car started. I'm just gonna wait until mom and dad get back. I was, I was just gonna leave. But yeah, I think I'll just stay here for a little while. Look at that snow. It's very cool how it has like a blue tint to it. Mom and dad should be back like in a few minutes. So I guess I'll just wait for them, say hello, and then I'll peace. I don't know what I'm doing yet. We'll see. Hey! Hey! Yeah, we need to let you go. What the f- Nice hair, Dad! Shut the f- You know what? How was Lancaster? I didn't go to Lancaster. If I did, I Exactly! If I went to Lancaster, I would've brought somebody back for you. Although I think she's <laughs> I wish. about 70 no, miles. Don't talk about it too much. That's awkward. I'm not gonna mention a name. Anyway. Huh? Ignore him. Take this all off. 
So it's off race and snowball. We've Chris and Tiff's house, house is canceled. Let's just have a pizza tonight, okay? Oh. Ah. Ah. Chris and Tiff's house is canceled. I just told Chris I'm not going. You think? I gotta help him, Dave. Oh, sorry. But it's okay because I love snow. Homie's freaking out. And I'm gonna go home and take some pictures. Dave, you destroyed my house. I did destroy, I'm sorry. Did you do anything? When I live here, I really live here, yeah. I, I did plenty of things. I'm just kidding. You guys have too many cats. Like, Maui's easy. You just scoop poop and you're done. But here, there's like four litter boxes to go through. Well, when you have five cats, I know. you gotta have four. Five cats. That's a lot of cats. Damien, <laughs> you're in jail again. I'm That's sorry. Yeah? We got out the bagel thing so we get bagels out of camping. <laughs> Has breakfast wraps. I think no. I think that's good. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't you like a breakfast wrap? Cool. Oh, oh, oh. The birds are back. I need a probably can't even see them. I need a knife. So, Dad, when you have three hours of spare one day, you and I are watching The Wolf of Wall Street. Okay. Okay, no, guys. No, not tomorrow. That's, um, I didn't tell you guys this yet, but The Wolf of Wall Street. I finally watched it on Netflix. One of the best movies I've ever. Seen and I didn't think I would like it that much. Okay. I mean, I, I love business, obviously. Yeah, I love the whole oh, entrepreneurship. I love the whole starting an empire thing. But Look. I'm not into the whole Wall Street stock trading yeah. thing. I'm not but this movie was amazing. Leonardo DiCaprio delivered one of the best performances I've ever seen in a movie. He's just so intense. Are you giving me stock tips? Dad! Sorry, just kidding. Don't say that! Sorry, son of a bitch. And something else. Alright, guys, I'm leaving. Peace! Oh, hey! Good luck, Alvar! And. Sorry, you know. I said. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm home, and my car is stuck at the bottom of the driveway. I can't even get the poor thing up. My little two wheel drive doesn't handle snow very well. Look at it. I'm stuck at the bottom. Look how deep the snow is, guys. It's not bad. I think I'm gonna try to dig some of it out and attempt to get up to the bush. That way when the snow plow comes, it doesn't bury my car. So, we'll see. Gotta get my iced tea from Wawa. Yo, guys, it is seriously bad out there. That is the worst, oh, and my other stuff, crap. Those are the worst driving conditions I've probably ever been in. Like, it was bad on the major highway around here. I was literally in two lanes for a while with this car behind me and like I couldn't even see the dotted line. <sighs> it's dangerous. But it took my time. Um, I had one close call when I had to get off the exit. I kind of went through like the snow bank because I couldn't control it that well. But I'm fine. Like I said, as long as you use common sense, you're likely not going to get into an accident. But now I gotta dig this out. But hey, I'm home safe, and that's all that matters. Come on, you gotta admit, it's beautiful. It may be dangerous driving conditions, but it is beautiful weather. Hey, Mao. Mao, he doesn't want to go out for once. He's kind of looking and he looks kind of scared. Maui? Maui, aren't you glad I'm home? It's crazy out there. It is, it's crazy. I did get plenty of food, and I think tonight's meal is Manwich, otherwise known as Sloppy Joe's. I love Sloppy Joe's. It's such an easy freaking dinner and very filling. And I'm telling you, I got enough beef to last me for two days, which is awesome. So I'll use half of this on Sloppy Joe's tonight. Bam! Like my meat? So then tomorrow I'll probably do hamburger helper or whatever. You know, it's weird. I never tried Hamburger Helper as a kid, but I didn't really, I mean, I didn't, I didn't actually have it until I moved in here and I had to start cooking for myself. And that's good. It's an easy meal. I really like this. This is good. It has some extra prep time, but it's so worth it because I love tacos and a little tortilla chips or whatever you call them. They're kind of like Fritos. And they're really good. I don't know if I told you this, but I rented Annabelle from Netflix. Is it good? It probably sucks, but... I figured being snowed in for the night, I just like that feeling of staying in from the snow, watching a movie, enjoying a coffee, and all that good stuff. And I probably will play some Smash tonight. Maybe. We'll see. There goes Maui, walking around like he owns the place. Maui! Psst, psst. 
You just gonna chill? That's fine with me. And I got this in yesterday for review. It is a Bluetooth. Okay, David. Stop right there. I think I told you that already. I did. Where's my mind gone? It's like this feels like a really long weekend for some reason, but it's only Saturday. It really sucks I didn't get to go to Chris and Tips tonight because I was looking forward to going out because I haven't really had a chance to go out these past few weekends. I've just been busy doing other things. But hopefully we can hang out next weekend. However, I'm definitely going to miss that turkey dinner tonight. It is what it is, though. At least I have Sloppy Joes. I love me some Sloppy Joes. How about you? Comment below. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry about shoveling tonight because it's just going to fall overnight. So I might as well just shovel tomorrow after it's all accumulated and whatever. Jump! Good boy. So that is my cue to put on my Mario pants and chill for the rest of the night and add a few more patrons because you guys have been so supportive these past few days and seriously, I, I like every day now, I get like at least five to eight new patrons. Seriously, every day. You guys are incredible and I'm just so glad that patrons only vlogs have proven to be successful. Because I was a little worried going in, but as I said in last week's vlog or whatever, you gotta take chances, you gotta take risks, and you're never gonna please everyone. So never ever let other people hold you back from doing what you love. And as long as you're confident, then why not try it? I'm loving this quantum bike, guys, I am. It's a great computer for the money. Bam! Let's make some beef! Get my sloppy jizzle on. Oh wait. <laughs> I was trying to make Joe like a gangster thing, but I said jizzle. That does not sound right. Unless you're into that thing. I don't roll down that street though. I'm a one-way kind of person if you know what I mean. Alright. Seriously though, let's cook my meat. And let's get sloppy. You know what? Let's call these sloppy daves. From now on, sloppy Joes will now be known as sloppy daves. Really, Maui? You wanna be cooked too? Nope. Get off my meat. Come on, Panasonic. You can do a better job than that. It looks yellow on the camera. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Stir that like a mother. <laughs> it's so freaking dark. The sloppier the better. By the way, this song always makes me think of Circuit City. I actually kind of missed that chain. Now it's all about Best Buy and nothing else. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You decide. Alright, it is time to watch Annabelle. Which, by the way, it's only the DVD version, but hey, it is what it is. First World Problems. I'll start out with two for now. I plan to have at least, I guess, five. We'll see. First taste, at least for tonight. I've had sloppy joes tons of times. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Movie time, guys. Movie time. Annabelle. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. In my opinion, easily worth a watch, though. Check it out if you like horror movies. And what makes it actually pretty cool is that Annabelle is, I believe, a prequel to The Conjuring. Because if you watch The Conjuring, a big part of that movie is Annabelle the doll. But honestly, I wasn't a big fan of The Conjuring. I thought it was very, very overrated. I was expecting like the scariest movie ever. Yeah, it was creepy here and there because it's just me in my house, lights off, volume up, and I can't help but always look in my bedroom. And I pictured Annabelle in there afterwards. Kind of creeps me out. Uh, but anyway, speaking in terms of this movie, not The Conjuring, it wasn't bad. Definitely check it out if you like horror movies like I do. I mean, I watch so many freaking horror movies, both good and bad. Uh, but again, I just really appreciated the fact that this is kind of tied into The Conjuring, which I didn't know until I saw it at the Redbox kiosk. 
So easily worth $1.50 plus tax, whatever I paid. So now, let's see how my score compares to Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, my phone died, and I forgot my iPhone charger at Mom and Dad's house. I technically have an extra charger in my iPad mini box, but I refuse to open it because I want that to be brand new for when I sell it, um, for when hopefully the iPad mini 4 comes out. So I guess I can check my iPad mini instead of my iPhone. So let's do that. Okay, so let's predict here. What do you guys think Annabelle got? Well, if you saw it. I say 38%. And I like to think I know Rotten Tomatoes pretty well. So let's see. Flickster, by the way. Great app. Flickster! Flickster! Annabelle. What is it? Tell me. Does it say right there? 29%. Okay. I said 38, right? So, I wasn't that far off. Not bad. That's actually not terrible by Rotten Tomatoes standards. So there's that. I love my iPad mini. It may not be as technically advanced as the iPad Air 2, but hey, it's not a bad device. I like it. Xbox, go home. Good boy. It's hypnotizing, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I've had that cube for at least a few years now, and it's been perfect. And now it is time to sit down and take some more notes on my uh, Squarespace Summit redesign. 2.0. I'm so bad at that. 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. It's hard to do for some reason. But yes, this redesign is going to be awesome. Especially because version 7. SpaceSummit.com, as of right now, is like 90% irrelevant. The only thing that you can use are the uh, resources and... Oh my god, so many pixels. Um, the designer interviews. Snap out of it, David. Come on. Get into the zone. Get some work done. My Xbox One just finished updating. I don't know what it updated, but it updated something. I guess I'll find out later. This is proof at how long I keep the same iPhone case for. Tiff, if you're watching this video, I'm currently stalking your old Instagram photos. I have no idea why. I'm kind of zooming in on the eight months ago. But look at that. I'm still using the same exact case on my iPhone 5S. Yeah, I guess you could say I really don't care about cases all that much. When I find one I like, I kind of stick with it for pretty much two years. Okay, maybe one year. Maybe two. But no more than that, because that's my at t contract. Actually, I'm looking at Tiff's um, Instagram because I was looking at her turkey picture. Right? Lar. I was really looking forward to having that tonight after Chris told me. That's okay. Hey, at least I'm safe and I'm home and I'm not dead, so could be worse. All right, I think it's time for some Smash. My pro controller is at my parents' house because I'm an idiot. I forgot, blah, blah, blah. I'm at to bring it down for Mario Kart 8, blah, blah, blah. That's okay. I'll do it tomorrow. But at least I can use my gamepad. I mean, I'm not nearly as good with the gamepad as I am with the pro controller. Better than nothing, though. So let's play Smash, shall we? I was gonna say shall we, but I forgot I left my TV on. Wasting electricity, David. Wasting electricity. Keep it up. All right, who am I going to level up tonight? These guys are already maxed out at level 50. Mario's getting there, so let me bring him back onto the stage. We need two more. Hmm. I think Diddy Kong's been leveled up a little bit, so I might as well max him out. Alright, one more. Alright guys, who wants to be leveled up tonight? 
Raise your hand. Any mini money matter. Chic. Let's do chic. Don't really care about chic much, to be honest. Was never really a fan. But let's do it regardless. It's smash time. Actually, I was wrong. Diddy Kong was not skinned until tonight. So, welcome to the family. Diddy Kong and Sheik, let's see what you got. Mario's almost maxed out. He's currently level 36. Let's do this. This is why I love Nintendo games. They go through all this trouble to give the user, the gamer, the player, whatever, access to all this music, including this. Memories right here. Super Mario 64. Oh. Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine. I love this stuff, guys. I love this stuff. Music makes an experience. And like I said in my villager video, I'm ashamed to say that I've never finished an Animal Crossing game because as much as I love this series, okay, now it's, now it's, now it's coming back to me. Um, I never finished an Animal Crossing game. I mean, I love this series. Am I turning red? I don't know. Uh, but I eventually get bored, I'm going to be honest, because it's very repetitive. Now, the 3DS version is the best one in the series yet, mixing it up with the, um, can't really think of the term. But anyway, what am I getting at here? Well, Animal Crossing for the Wii U, when it is announced, I'm promising you right now, I'm gonna put so much freaking time into that game. I'm gonna play it the most I have ever, like any Animal Crossing game. It's gonna be amazing. I can't find the Animal Crossing music. I was playing it the other night. What is going on here? But yes, Animal Crossing, guys, it's one of those games. It's just, it's so relaxing. And if you have not played any ma any Animal Crossing games yet, please, play one. City Folk for the Wii was awesome. I know some people didn't like that, but I loved it. It was probably my favorite one in the series so far. Um, because I really like sitting down on my couch with nice big screen TV surround sound. Even though I don't think City Folk was technically 5.1. But still, you know what I mean. I'm just not a big portable gamer. I'd rather be sitting on my couch. Where is... Oh, here it is. Here we go, guys. Maui, what are you doing? Or listen, rather. Stop. Wait for it. I love that part so much. It's like wah wah, clap clap. So I'm kind of geeking out here. Oh, in the roost? Hold on, here we go. No, wait, is this? Oh my god. One of my favorite piano pieces out there. Just listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Is that not nice? Plaza from City Folk. Okay, I'm done. I think I'm gonna have a drink. Why not? I'm gonna be out for a little while playing Smash. Blah 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 blah. 
and add some wild cherry Pepsi. Brand new too, I just bought this today at ShopRite. I'll probably add some more Fireball or vodka or whatever. I don't know, I just feel like drinking. I'm dropping stuff already. As always, I just gotta do this disclaimer. I am over 21 and I'm staying home and I'm not driving. Just gotta say that because I know I have some younger viewers watching. I just wanna set a good example. Be legal, be safe, be alive. <laughs> Man, I was like, what's going on tonight? You know, I played New Leaf a lot, but I don't recall this sound or this song. I don't know. Let me go back to uh, The Roost. Such a great track. Like, seriously. No, you know what? Let's go back to um, Tom Nook's store. Cheers to a good 2015. It's got some kick to it. It's good though. You know, let's do that clap part one more time. I just love that track. Is that good? Here we go, ready? Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Oh, how I entertain myself. It's around like 46 second mark, so we got some time to chill. I'll definitely be having another one. This is easy. I need a snack. I'm getting hungry. This is what I do when I'm all by myself. Almost there. Even drunk yet. Here it comes. <laughs> I love that so much. Now he always looks at me. He's like, what's going on? You can't care what others think of you. As long as you're having fun, then who gives a flying fun cake? What's a fun cake? Oh yes, Diddy Kong and Sheik, you guys are officially maxed out. So on the top shelf, you go. Enjoy. And Pikachu, you are done for tonight. Oh shit. Damn it! I forgot I have to save him. I gotta scan him again. Alright, you guys aren't done yet. Hold on. Come back. Come on. Let's do this in real time, shall we? First up, Diddy Kong. Sheik. Pikachu. Love it. So awesome. Okay, now you guys can go back. Good job tonight, guys. Good job. You kick some ass. And Pikachu, we will return to you another night. We've got some gaps going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little out. And guys, I was thinking, why not pop in City Folk? Why not pop in some Animal Crossing? So let's do that. My town is probably covered in weeds. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, the town ordinance is the term I was trying to think of when I was describing the 3DS version. Which is definitely the most unique version because you could collect other people's, um, um, characters, their houses, their decorations, whatever, via, um, 
What's that thing called when you're on the go with the me's? Me spot? Spot verse, me verse. Man, me, me versus the Wii U. I can't think right now. Here we go. It has Street Pass. That's it. Oh no, Spot Pass. No, Street Pass. Yeah, Street Pass is when you could see other people's decorations in their home, which is really, really cool. So. But, like I said before, my favorite Animal Crossing game in general, though, is definitely Animal Crossing City Folk. I put so much time into this game. And again, guys, I just love this. Chilling on my couch, comfort in my living room. So, yeah. Let's pop it in and see how my town looks. I have not played this in a few years. Yeah, this is weird. I have not used a nunchuck in so freaking long. This is crazy. I'm excited about this. I'm a little nervous though. I mean, my town is gonna look terrible. And my neighbors are gonna be like, where the hell have you been, David? It's snowing at least. Guys, I'm back. My town doesn't look too bad either. I have mail. This is why I loved the Wii version. Seriously, City Folk is just so intuitive. I love just pointing the Wiimote and controlling it this way. It's almost hands-free. Almost. See, look at this. I can just hold down the A button and point it anywhere and my villager follows my hand. Isn't that great? Look, I got my cherries, got my peaches, got my apples, got my pears. It's snowing out like a mother. It's looking good. And down here, look at this. Awesome, awesome experience. You just tap it, boom, drag and drop. This is why it's great. And it's gonna be even better with the gamepad one day with the touch screen, designing patterns, scanning amiibo. Think about it guys, think about it. It's gonna be a dream come true for Animal Crossing fanatics like myself. Where's my house? I hear my mail, but I can't find it. I was just there too. Oh, here we go. Yep. All right, let's see how much mail I have. Oh, that's it? From Tortimer. Can you believe that it's been a year since he moved to Seaside? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's been much longer than a year. Oh, let's go in my house. I forget what my house looks like. This should be interesting. Oh God, I have cockroaches. <laughs> my Christmas tree is out. That's so funny. And my birthday cake. Oh, memories. Oh, I'll turn it. Damn it. There you go. Got my other Christmas tree. My star has been going all this time for years. There you go. There's my computer. Let's go in my um, bedroom upstairs. Let's see what's going on up there. Oh wow, I never expanded my upstairs? Lazy much? My god, my house in um, Adam across a New Leaf is so much bigger than this. Although I don't know if you could expand upstairs. I forget. I'm pretty sure you could. I guess for some reason I never did. I don't know. Oh, the cockroaches are gone. Now everything is all better. Good times. There's Billy from college. He's been sleeping all these years. That's hilarious. Pookie! God, I miss college. Yeah, I mean, this, this game was so much fun at college. It was me and my friends Billy and EJ. 
We all had characters, hence it asking who I was when I signed in. It said David, Billy, and EJ. It just brought back memories. And there's Billy just sleeping in his bed. God, I miss his days. And I actually used to wake up early on this on some, some Sunday mornings for the stock market because you could get mushrooms. No, not, not, not mushrooms, sorry, turnips. Turnips were really, really cheap and trade them on the market and make some insane profit. You get a ton of bells. Bells is kind of like Animal Crossing's currency of, you know, dollars. Good times. Now, the main problem with city folk, and this is all kind of coming back to me, is that, I mean, it's currently 3.41 a.m. And it's 3.41 a.m. in the game. That's what makes Animal Crossing so cool, because it's based on real time. Well, in other words, there's nothing to do this late. All the shops are closed. All the neighbors and villagers are in their houses sleeping. But with Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS, like I mentioned earlier, town ordin the, the uh, town ordinance, ordinance, can't say that right. Um, basically, you could set it up as like a nightlife town where stores would be up later, neighbors would be up and awake like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, still walking around talking to people, or animals in this case. So, yeah. I, guys, I cannot stress enough. I am so excited about the Wii U version. And I know um, it's not uh, like officially announced yet, uh, but I mean, if it's like Animal Crossing New Leaf, but like a console version, I'm perfectly happy with that because there's so many features I love about that game. It's just I didn't play it enough. I mean, I didn't play it as much as I probably should have because I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not a big portable gamer. Like this is like the third or fourth time I'm telling you this. I'm a little out there. So, I think I'm going to go to bed soon, maybe have one more shot of Fireball and just kind of knock myself out. But guys, thank you for watching. It was so great to relive Animal Crossing again. Not that I could do much because everyone's sleeping in the freaking game. But uh, this just makes me even more excited to see what Nintendo has in store for the Wii U. Good times. I cannot stress that enough, guys. Amiibo. Imagine scanning in like Tom Nook and KK Slider. Ooh. Nintendo, your opportunity with this is huge. Take advantage of that. Gamers like myself will gladly pay a lot of money for all these Amiibos. Well, retail price per Amiibo, but you know what I mean, like adding up. I'll gladly pay, like, I don't know, whatever it's going to cost for, for the whole set. Make it happen, please. But in the meantime, guys, good night. I will see you in the morning. Ugh. Morning, Maui. How are you? I should actually say good afternoon, Maui. Yeah. I slept so late. You're a good boy. But I was also up late, so no biggie. No biggie. Last night was a great gaming night. And a great fireball night. Yes, good afternoon, my fellow viewers. Man, I was up so late last night, and I had another shot of Fireball or two. Just kind of knocked me out, and I guess I didn't want to wake up. Either that or my body was just behind on sleep, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to wrap up the weekend vlog soon after I take my shower, have my coffee going and stuff, um, because I have to obviously edit this in time because I'm going back to my parents' house tonight because I'm working with my dad tomorrow and Wednesday. So yes, it's another one of those busy weeks. Pandora's freaking out. So anyway, I just want to say hello. Even if I do look like crap, it is what it is. This is what I love about snow. Not only does it look awesome, but check it out. You can see the tracks of animals that come by. It's like stealth unveiled. It's pretty cool. And as you can see over there by my car, the snow is quickly melting, so I should have no problem in getting out tonight. In honor of my...
my gaming session last night. I'm wearing this. Made in the 80s. It's true. 1985, in case you're curious. I look like I'm 17, but I'm actually 29 years old. Some people are still shocked to hear that, <laughs> which is always funny. And yes, I still get carded at liquor stores. It is what it is. My parents tell me it's a good thing for when I'm older. So I guess when I'm 40, I'll look 30. And when I'm 100, I'll look like 70. Then when I'm 200, I'll look maybe like 150. Then when I'm 300, I'll look maybe like eh, 230. Okay, that's, that's pushing it, guys. That's pushing it big time. I don't think I'm gonna live past like 70 with my kind of diet. Ew. Disconnected. Bye. And now I must quickly say goodbye to you guys, my fellow viewers. But I will see you throughout the week for videos Tuesday through Thursday. And then my fellow patrons, I will see you on Friday, which I got to say, people are enjoying them very much. Just to give my non-patrons a preview, the first exclusive vlog for patrons was, I think, around 36 minutes long. Then the second vlog for our patrons that just went live this past Friday was, I think, exactly 30 minutes long. So, in other words, these are real vlogs. They're not just lazy vlogs where I talk like for five or six minutes. These are fully fledged vlogs at usually about half the length of the weekend vlog. Sometimes even longer because I've only done two, so they're only going to get more detailed and, I don't know, interesting over time. Shout out to Crazy Girls, Aaron. You're like obsessed with horse heads. She keeps sending me horse head pictures. Hey, it's her fetish. People like horse heads, right? Some people like vajankles. I mean, it's not really my thing, but I don't know. Maybe I'd try it. First insert video? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Anyway, and on that note, Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. It really, really does. And I genuinely hope you listened to my, not rant in the beginning, but my speech or whatever um, in the beginning of this vlog where I said patrons and non-patrons, you guys are all equal in my eyes. This isn't a contest. I don't exclude people from enjoying my content except for the Friday vlogs, but that doesn't mean I exclude you in my life. Just, I don't... I just don't want people taking it the wrong way. It's simply bonus content. That's all it is. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome and productive week. Kick ass in the process. And I will see you, well, I guess in Tuesday's video. Yeah, time's flying. So I'll see you then. Peace.